Hey, thank you for calling Clapped Out Garage. How may I help you today? Hey, I was wondering if you guys had any uh, three-inch spacers for uh, BMW 335i. Yeah, yeah, we have some. Five by one twenty, but I need adapters too. So oh. they gotta be uh, five by one twenty to five by one fourteen. Okay, what size? Three-inch. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know if we have those. You, uh, you can double stack them. Is that safe? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I can do that. All right, yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah no problem. Um, Sucker. What? Uh, what? Uh, yeah, no, nothing. They're safe. Are you sure it's safe? Yeah, yeah, absolutely safe. All right, man. I, I trust you. I'll, All right. I'll be there in all right, man. We'll see you then. Bye. Sucker. What is going on, guys? Welcome to another Clapped Out Garage episode. And today, we're going to be working on the E92. Now, I don't have the right offset for this car, or for the wheels, I mean, for the wide body, better said. So, I had to resort to very big spacers that I have on the rear. I don't have big spaces for the front. So as you've seen probably in the uh, in the intro, I'm double stacking the front for now. The guy told me it was safe, so I trust him. So I'm gonna double stack the front. So I did it already off camera. This is what happened. I don't know if you guys, I mean, obviously you guys can see how, how terrible that that is right there. It's just terrible, terrible. Shredded my tire. So I got to work some clearance issues until I can afford some three-piece wheels. So we're going to be pulling it out of the yard and putting it over there in the driveway somewhere and try to figure out how to get rid of that clearance. I know it's not safe to drive with double stack spacers, let alone spacers alone. But I had uh, the rear spacers on for a little while already because the rear part of the kit has been on for a little bit. So I'm not too worried about it, at least for the rear. For the front, I am very worried about it. So without further ado, let's uh, try to drive it out of here and figure out this clearance issues. All right, so now we got the car set up there this is a 2070 92 uh, basically all bolt-ons except for inlets and outlets it is tuned on an MHD stage 2 plus um, it's not professionally tuned it's one of their off-the-shelf maps but it's not bad for what it is eventually it'll it'll get better I've had it for about two years it was a pain in the, you know, when I first got it, but it's been pretty reliable to me since after all the maintenance and whatnot. So now I'm just doing all the cosmetic things that I want to do. So, anyways, we're gonna get it up on jack stands quick and try to get some of this done. I'm gonna put you guys on a time lapse, so I'll see you guys when I get back. Now that the car is all jacked up, I'm gonna take the wheels off. Oh, my tripod just broke. Nice. I'm gonna take the wheels off and we're gonna figure out, I'm gonna figure out what exactly it is that I need to do to get rid of this clearance problem that I have going on here. If I can find my wheel lock. Wheel lock, hello? Wheel lock? Um, dang it. Wait, wait, right there. Yeah. <sighs> Anyways, I'm gonna do that off camera. I'll get back on. Okay, so as you can tell right here, 
that 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 right there is my clearance uh, problem. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna get rid of that right there, but uh, yeah. Anyways, I'll figure it out. Wheels. Ah, let's get some tools. I'm gonna grab some tools and you already know what's going on. I'm gonna grab tools and then I'll, I'll, I'll catch you guys. I'll catch you guys. Okay, so we're gonna pull the fender liners now. Just for the record, these are my very safe spacers that the guy from Clapped Out Garage told me that they were perfectly safe to drive. So it's perfectly safe, don't worry about it. All right, he's a mechanic. That's certainly safe there, absolutely. I am not a mechanic, so I listen to him. All right, so I'm gonna pull these fenders off now. <laughs> okay, so clearly, as you guys can tell, I don't care about my well-being or this car. I actually love this car, but regardless, no. that right there is my problem. So what I'm about to do is not gonna be pretty. side done it doesn't really look the prettiest uh flip the camera around real quick after this and show you guys but i mean it's not rubbing rubbing as bad as it was before i'll probably still keep going at it i'm not cutting or really doing anything i'm just banging the fenders in you know it doesn't look ridiculously uh Clapped out. That's that's the name of the game. We're gonna do the other side now and see how it works afterwards. Okay, so I'm pretty much all done. I'm um, just bolting up the wheels now. And then I'm gonna take it for a drive. Hopefully, I don't die. <laughs> um, just to see if I actually have any type of clearance or, clearance or not. I might have to get smaller tires. I really don't want to do that. So, I guess we'll see. Okay, so we're not rowing anymore. So that's good. Uh, we only rub when, like, full lock. So, that means I gotta go either smaller tires or I gotta try to bang some more of that uh, fender well in. Other than that though, not too bad. Car's actually drivable now. I'm still rocking the uh, double spacers here, but uh, for testing purposes. There's that rubbing. Yeah, I don't like rubbing. <laughs> Not too bad though. So, we're gonna go put the car away and we're gonna call it a day. We're gonna end it here. If you guys enjoyed it, if you thought this was funny, unsafe, uh, whatever other many things you guys can possibly be thinking of, uh, please like, subscribe, and join us for the next. So, we will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.